hello, hello, hello. Hello everyone. <clears throat> My name is Tafsi Gifts and I'm here in uh, Ivano Frankis, Ukraine. <laughs> so, who is joining us today? Who is joining us today? <laughs> It's been beautiful all the while. We thank God. You know, today is the last, the last day crossover night of 2018. Wow, that's so, that's so wonderful. Congratulations, congratulations. You know, we bless God for 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 keeping us all through 2018, and we are entering into a beautiful year. Today we're going to be talking about a very powerful topic. The dangers of bright price. This is my song that is playing. <laughs> invite your friends today we're going to be dealing with another beautiful topic the dangers of bright price the dangers of bright price you know yesterday was awesome yesterday was beautiful and we thank God we thank God because really we have to speak up we have to speak up truth would have to prevail a lot of women are suffering a lot of women women are undergoing um, all all manner of uh, violence, abuse, all because of right price. Yeah. So we, uh, I, I did a topic yesterday, and I titled it "Why I Think Bright, Pli Bright Price Rather Should Be Abolished." So, and I gave valid reasons why bright price should be abolished. If you watch the video of yesterday. You could see how much our daughters, our, uh, 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 our 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 daughters have been, you know, exchanged for for peanuts that cannot even buy the bread, the air they breathe. All right, so it is not worth it. No matter the amount, no matter how small or how big it is, it's not worth, uh, you know, exchanging any human for. Okay, because men are thinking that paying bride price is a, a opportunity or a way of owning a woman, a way of owning a woman. That's why they want to lord it over any woman they find and they call their wives. Okay, hello Queen Elizabeth Aina, thank you so much for joining. God bless you. Please, as you come in, help me share the video share the video share the video and invite your friends um I'm, I'm, i think i'll need to also share the video because uh, not everybody will get a uh, notification because um well i'm not on my normal page i'm not on my normal facebook page uh we're on virtuous women virtuous and purposeful women group so i would like to sh you share it on your timeline or you tag people so that they can get notification and join us today and i noticed my husband was saying that it seemed like uh, if you're not in the group you cannot comment he was trying to comment yesterday but he couldn't see a place to comment because he's not in the group and that was why i i, I and also I noticed that most of the topics we are doing, it is not just uh, beneficiary for women alone, and it's for the, it's for men as well. So that's why I ask that um, if it's possible, we add men to this group so that <laughs> they can come and be beneficiaries to what we're saying because we are actually talking to them, right? <laughs> 
Elizabeth is telling them, stop collecting bread fries. Don't, don't treat a woman the way you, you're treating them. <laughs> so they are supposed to be here to, you know, see the value of a woman <laughs> and hear the truth as well so that they can repent and have a change of heart so they can stop, uh, you know, abusing our women. So share, share, share. Share to their, uh, their timelines, invite all the invite men, let them come and hear the truth. Let them come and hear, you know, the truth. Um, mm, yeah, so share, 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 share while we get ready to, to, to talk about today's uh, beautiful topic. I will be glad if we can share the video. Share, 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 share. So today we'll be talking about the dangers of bright price. The dangers of bright price. As somebody, somebody will say, does bright price have dangers? Yes, there are a lot of disadvantages of bright price. You, you know, some people don't even know that. Oh, it's because of bright price that they are actually going through what. You know they are going through yesterday i was sharing my life um experience i was telling you people how that my mother was uh, you know constantly abused and you know what the, my father will always say i own you i own you yes i own you you know i'm like you own her no you don't own her <laughs> you are privileged to be her husband but you don't own her she is not your property She's not your property. And you know, she, my mom cannot do anything. Yes, yeah, that's culture, right? She can't do anything because where do you turn to? When the, when, the, when the president of a nation, when the president of a country is saying that the place of a woman is in the kitchen and the, her culture is saying that a woman would have to be a property to a man, wow, where do you want her to run to then? Where do you want her to, 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 to seek for uh, uh, freedom? How, where, do she, where will she f fix her face? Where, who will she run to? Who will she call upon? You know, the women are being battered and shattered and uh, beaten on daily basis. And they are weeping and crying and asking God, Is this what you have for me? Is this what I came to this world for? To be treated like a piece of rock, to be treated like a piece of shit, is this what you have for me? Is this the 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 is this is this is it is it not you who said that I'm made in your image and likeness? Did you bring me to the earth to come and you know uh, become a tool in the hands of a man? Women are confused. They don't understand. Do you know how many women ask God questions every now and then in their closet? When nobody is listening, when nobody is watching, when nobody is there, while she's weeping and crying, while the man is sleeping and snoring, she is in her closet. She could be in the kitchen. She could be somewhere weeping and asking God, what kind of life is this? Is it the life of a woman? What is it? What joy, what joy having been a woman, what joy does it entail to be a woman? Is, it, is this what to be a woman is all about? To, to be a, a, a sex toy to a man, even when you don't want to have a sex, the man wants you to have sex with him. Even when you are sick, he's forcing you to have sex with him. He doesn't care about your feelings. He doesn't care about your emotion. Even when you are tired, you clean the house, you take care of the children, you, 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 you cook, you iron, you know, you keep the house clean, you are running to the market, getting things, you are tired before, before 24 hours runs out, before the man returns from work, you are drained, you are tired, yet he comes back and you are saying, sweetheart, I'm tired. He said, my friend, I want to have sex. And you don't have choice than to give him sex, even though it's not comfortable for you, even though you do, you're not enjoying the sex because physically you are tired, you are weak. But this man is saying he wants to have sex with you because he thinks that he bought you as his property. 
He tells you, woman, give me what I paid for. Give me what I paid for. Did, am I owing your father? Oh, am I owing your father? I paid in full, woman. I paid in full. Never you deny me my rights. And woman is saying, I am not denying you your right. I'm not denying you sex. I'm just telling you that I'm tired. Can't you wait? Can't you understand? Can't you take that woman to the bathroom to, you know, to, to bait her, to take some warm towel and massage her body to, to, to help her? To help her to see reasons without why she cannot have sex with you. Can't you see that the workload for her is too much? When did a woman become a cleaner, a servant, a slave, a schoolgirl, a, 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 a sex toy, a sexual satis, a, a satisfactory machine, a, a childbearing machine? So if she doesn't do if she doesn't do any of such, she's not seen as a woman. She's she she's seen the, uh, as a disobedient wife. Yes, when the woman complains and says, Sweetheart, I'm tired, I'm not feeling well, I'm tired, I've been up and, uh, and down today, running here to skate, I have to pick the children from school, I have to do this, I have to do that. You're like, you are becoming disobedient. And remember what the Bible says. You know, you start using you, a lot of things to make her feel that she's doing something wrong. But it's human nature, she is, she's tired. If you are tired, won't you also feel it? Elizabeth is saying, African men, ha, hey, hey. They paid for her, so they believe it is her, is their right. That is so true. Why would you think because you, you paid one, even if you pay one billion dollars, it is not worth what you're doing to her. If you as a man would want to take a rest because you are tired, why wouldn't you think, put, her, put yourself in her shoes? She is sick, you want to have sex. She is mesurating, you want to have sex. She is, she, she is tired, you want to have sex. Are you okay? Are you okay? It's the, same, it's the same mentality that makes men force their wives into oral sex. The woman does not want oral sex. You are forcing her to, 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 to have oral sex with you because you think she is your property. So you, she do, she do to you what you want. It's not what she. You don't even put her in the picture. You don't think about her, her want or her love or what. She, you don't care. It's as if you paid. You paid for her life. Elizabeth is saying they even say it is on the wedding. They even say on the wedding day that your husband owns you. And you must do whatever he wants. That is it. The same thing churches are saying. The same thing men of God are saying. And that is why most times when women have problems in their, in their marriages, once a man and a woman comes for counseling or, you know, or complain or anything, believe me, the whole focus will be on the woman. You don't even want to know if the man did something wrong or not. You focus on the woman as though she is the winch or wizard or uh, she is the winch, of course, that, that is trying to tear her home apart. They tell you, most of them tell you, hey, you're beginning to listen to people outside. You're beginning to, you know, mingle with friends that are telling you something that will tear your marriage. And you better, you better obey or keep your marriage. You men are scared. So, you know, all manner of trash just to put the woman under bondage of pain why can't a woman enjoy her marriage and enjoy her life why can't she live with you as her partner and and be grateful to god and wish that the trumpet should wait because she's enjoying she, she's enjoying her newfound friend why can't you be her friend why do you think you are perfect enough you know, to, to start looking for a way to judge her. Because she cannot give you she cannot give you sex because she's tired. You know, when, just like what Elizabeth is saying now. When, when the day they are going to join you in church, just as the, your in-laws did, uh, uh, just as your 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 um what the, your kinsmen and your parents did when they when the man paid the, the bread price or the dowry. They tell you that they've handed 
you over to the man. Now he owns you. When you go to church, they tell you the same thing. The pastor tells you that now the man has fulfilled every right. Now he owns you. Excuse me, where is it in the Bible? You don't own her. No, you don't. I was telling a lady when I was hosting a, a watch party of the one I did yesterday, a lady was trying to, you know, talk and she was like, oh, bright prize is, uh, you know, it started from the time of Abraham, blah, blah, blah. And I said, yes, I know it started from the time of Abraham. But, 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 but uh, Rebecca's family never asked for that bright prize. It was, it was not demanded by Rebecca's family. Isaac was not demanded to bring bright prize or what or dowry rather or uh, what I is called bright prize or dowry. It was not a doctrine. It's not supposed to be a doctrine that we are supposed to embrace. There are things we read just for just for us to know what happened in the time of the old. It is not a carryover culture or a carryover doctrine. There is no place in the Bible where Jesus categorically mentioned or stated that bride price must be, you know, is something that had to do with a man and a woman when you come to marry a woman. There is no doctrine like that. There is no law in the Bible like that. We need to abolish bright price because it has done more harm to our ladies than good. It has done more harm to this, this women of Zion. It has done more harm to God's own children than good. So we need to abolish bright price. <laughs> Elizabeth is saying we must copy, copy every, everything, <laughs> everything out uh, our ancestors handed them to us we we never question things and their impact yeah like it was a, like as i was saying yesterday i said if if you if you have an opportunity to try to want to carry over anything at all we try to do check and balance you try to check you try to balance it this thing we're about to uh, to establish as a culture or as a doctrine how good it is check look at the advantage and the disadvantage when you put it on a scale weigh it look at the the, the possibility of it becoming a problem in minas tomorrow look at the possibility of it becoming a blessing tomorrow now if the disadvantage weighs more than the advantage then you drop it it's not needed it's not important we don't need it so bride price have made men think that women are their property that they can purchase as long as they have what it takes as long as they have the money they feel like they can point at any girl and purchase her you know i've heard men when i was growing up i've heard men say to to me several times that all they need to do if they want me it's not about whether i want them or not that if they want me they go straight up to my parents and purchase me that women are like clothes in the market. I've always heard that thing. That women are like clothes in the market. When you get to the market, you bend down and select what you want. Once you get what you want, you pay for it and you take it to your house or to wherever you're going to. So it keeps ringing on my on my head. It keeps ringing in my brain. Women are like clothes in the market. Women are, like, and then I say to myself, who are men? Who are they? What is it that is different? What is it that is that is special? If the man has has the Holy Spirit, if the man ha has God inside of him, am I absence of God? Is there no God in me? If the man can think, can I? Is it possible that I cannot think? If the man can build, is it possible I cannot build? If the man can achieve anything is it possible i cannot achieve anything you know that this is this same mentality is what made men to have held to hold women for many years that women could not study they could not go to school they could not study they could not 
amount to anything. They could not look for, they could not, uh, uh, um, they, they could not carry out their passion, their purpose in life. They could not achieve it. Why? Because they think that women are only meant to take care of the home, the children, to prepare food for the man. And when he comes to eat and then he sleeps with her, he, you know, he has sex with her. The next day the man jumps out, the woman is at home. So they put women under this uh, 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 darkness, thinking that their place is just in the home. All lies. All lies. If a man can be an astronaut, a woman can be an astronaut. If a man can be a medical doctor, a woman can be a medical doctor. There is nothing, not even in technology. Do you know there are some futures that you use? Go and make research. There are some features in the, in the iPhone that you use today that some of the icons were made by women. Were made by women. These are the women who disagree that society should hold them back. You, you know? So this kind of mentality of ownership is what makes men suppress women and put them in bondage that most of them don't stretch themselves out. They don't... They don't uh, disagree or they don't come out to fulfill their purpose in life they don't fight to come out to fulfill their purpose in life they don't become they don't achieve anything they are 100 percent housewives and that is the only legacy they have that is the only legacy they were able to build do you or he married to mr what 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 and then they gave her to fight for six children. And after 80 years, she died. That is all. Are you serious? You think that is the reason why God brought you here on earth? No, that is terrible. So men try to suppress women, you know, from, from discovering their purpose and, uh, and fulfilling it because they think that they own the woman. They think she is, her, uh, he, uh, she is his property. How wrong, man. How wrong you are. Yes, that's so wrong. That is so wrong. We have to destroy that culture. It has to be abolished because women have been, you know, dehumanized and belittled. God gave us everything, every thinking mind, everything that is needed for for any man to become great, for any woman to become great in life, to become a world changer, to become a light to her generation, to, 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 you know, to, to become a blessing to her society. So God gave every man, God did not give a, a man more than he gave to a woman. No way. I am carrying the same amount of God that you are carrying. I am carrying, God is 100%. So I'm carrying the same amount of God that you are carrying inside of you. I'm not carrying less because I'm a woman. You are not carrying more because you're a man. We are carrying the same, the same equal amount of God we are carrying inside of us. So I, I am not supposed to represent less of who I am carrying. Carla da Bosch. I am supposed to be representing the 100% of God that I'm carrying inside of me, right? So you're not supposed to suppress me. Because if you suppress me, it means you're trying to suppress the God in me. You're, to, you're trying to suppress God. And he is not happy. He does not want me to be suppressed. He wants me to go out and be a light to my generation. He wants me to go out and be a blessing. He wants me to go out and be a, a changer, a solution provider. He wants people to turn around and they see them and they see God all around me. Why? Because I am I am I'm exhibiting the the the, the, the purpose that God brought me here on earth for. Listen, for every man who is keeping a woman inside their homes and they are suppressing them from fulfilling purpose, you are, you are suppressing God. You are suppressing the image of, of God. You are trying to tell God, no, you, you didn't do it right. 
You didn't do it right. No, never a time in the Bible do Jesus say that a woman is a slave to her husband or a woman is a, is a housekeeper. A woman is a cook, a, a chef. A woman is a, is a sex, um, libido satisfactory a, a, a machine or she is a, she is a, 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 what's the word again? She is a, ch a childbearing machine. Never. Please, if you have any quotation, paste it and let's see it. Let's see it. You do not have the right to keep any woman in a place where you are putting her. You do not have the right. God is not happy. God is not embracing you. If you are a pastor, because most pastors do it. Have you heard some bishop? I mean, when I'm talking about bishop, I'm talking about leading church churches in, in Nigeria. Have you heard about where their pastors brag how that they suppress their wives? How that the woman, they put, they put her where she's supposed to be. Allah, Jesus. And the man is so proud saying it. What an ignorance. And he does not even know he's ignorant in what he's saying. And he's so full of himself saying that if not that he put his wife where she is right now, that she would not have been here. She would have been sent packing. She would have, you know, she would not have been able to, to build. She would not have been able to enjoy what, what the, the wealth that they're enjoying. The scamming wealth that they got from people. He would not have been able to enjoy, you know, enjoy it today. Yes? So it's because she humbled herself. He put her in a place where she is supposed to be. And she, you know, she, she, she humbled to herself and, you know, stayed in that position. That's why she's enjoying the wealth she's enjoying today. <laughs> Trash. You, you are suppressing and you are putting God's image under bondage. Out of ignorance, you are even proud of it. Out of ignorance, you are you you are thinking we should be applauding for you and be bowing to you and saying, "Oh, hail the King who is suppressing the bride that Jesus gave him, the 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 the, uh, the, the companion that Jesus gave him." So we should embrace you and say, "Glory, Hallelujah! What a man! What a great man you are! What a legacy you kept!" Right? You know, it is so wrong. It is so wrong because these same great men are the same people teaching the crowd. And you know, what they, what they vomit from their mouth is the same thing that these people go home with. So after a, a, a sermon of relationship, after a sermon of relationship, the woman goes home, you know, depressed, and the man goes home smiling. Why? Because the pastor have just rained more problem on her. You know, trying to remind her how that she's not submissive. Trying to remind her who she's supposed to be. The focus is always on the woman. Yes. So why, why wouldn't we see maltreatment? Why wouldn't we see abuse? Why wouldn't we see violence? Why wouldn't we see women bruised? Bleeding every part of their body? Why wouldn't we see it when what when... That is what they hear from church, that they have to be submissive. Yes, I'm not saying anybody should not be submissive. Now, but the submission is not one-sided. The Bible says you should submit one to another, not the other way around, man. Not the other way around. One to another. You know, and if you want, if you want, if you want, um, Love in return, if you want submission, you give submission. If you want peace, you give peace. You lead, I follow. You lead. Lead. Whatever you bring is what we multiply. According to Dr. Miles Moron of Blessed Memory, he said that anything you give to a woman, she multiplies. So if you bring sorrow, she multiplies it for you. <laughs> she multiplies it for you. So women need to need to understand the value that they carry and stop at nothing to, you know, saying it, leaving it, you know, acknowledging it, expressing it, 
Women, we need to understand who we are in Christ Jesus. We need to understand that we are that we are humans. We need to understand that the kind of value, the kind of the kind of solution that we carry inside of us. We need to understand who we are. Okay, we need to understand so that we will not fall prey when these men are telling us that they've bought us. You look into his eyes and tell him, hello man, you did not buy me. You cannot buy God. I am made in the image and likeness of God. Do you think you have what it takes to buy God? No. <laughs> no, you don't. You didn't buy me. Hello. Wake up from your dream. You didn't buy me. So that is why you, you are not permitted to lay your hands on me. You are not permitted to lay your hands on me. You are not permitted to suppress me. When will that time come when you as a woman will be hungry and before you wake up, your husband brings the food while you are lying on the bed? Yes. Your husband comes to wake you and says, sweetheart, oh, breakfast is ready. Sweetheart, dinner is ready. Sweetheart, lunch or supper is ready. Why is it that it's only you who is doing the cooking and cleaning and washing and ironing? You just want to kill yourself. That is why women grow old. Women grow old weak. Because they, the, the workload is too much. They need to wash all the plates, all the clothes, clean the house, take care of the children, bring them back to school, take them to school. What? Hello? You want to kill her? The, when, 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 when humans, when, when we are being, you know, um, um, we, we are being stressed, stressed too much, we begin to fall sick, we begin to fall ill, and we begin to, you know, we begin to fall ill and before you know it, they are gone. And the man will marry another, another wife because he thinks he can always buy as many materials as possible. Elizabeth is giving us a powerful testimony. She said, as in, eh, this thing is so real. I was in a courtship in 2016. Oh my God. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, let me use my laptop to read that. I was in a courtship in 2016 and I remember the pastor calling to say the women's job is, a, is to submit even when the guy was abusive and the pastor was aware he was talking to me because submission and accountability, <laughs> I, was, I was so broken, I realized women have no honor, oh my god, I was so sad for women who will continue such relationship because of lack of awareness of their individuality. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is wickedness. And you know, for this pastor to be saying this thing, Elizabeth, it means himself is, is also abusing his wife. How can you be telling a man who is abusing his wife or his, uh, his partner, or the person he's, he's cutting, how can you be telling the, it's like you're telling the man, go ahead, and you are telling the woman, submit, submit, even though he, the man is the one abusing the woman, instead of you to look at the man, and teach him, and tell him, no, it is wrong for you to do that to a woman, it is wrong, instead of you to do that, you are telling the woman, no, submit, as if the problem is the woman, I don't understand, it means you as a pastor, you're doing the same because it is what you, it is what is it, uh, um, it is what you know you give. You don't give what you don't have, right? It's, it's mean that the man is doing the same thing he's telling you, Elizabeth. Jesus, help me. <laughs> Elizabeth says something crazy. He <laughs> said, people kept talking about adding more yam to the bride price. <laughs> Adding more yam to the bright price, more bags of rice. Lord, it cracked me up. Women go through all kinds of nonsense in the name of bright price. I'm telling you exactly. Now, 
there is no amount of tuba of, of yam or bags of rice that is what that is what this precious human for God's sake. That is what her life. There is oh my Jesus. What what is this? What has culture done to us? What has religion done to us? We need to do away with all this trash. I need all of us, all the women, this 2019, let us not relent. Let us keep screaming for our freedom. And if it's possible, Elizabeth, if it's possible, we can get, we can contact anybody in, 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 a, in, a, in, a, in a seat of authority in Nigeria, any women organization we can contact in Nigeria, and we keep, we keep screaming, we keep screaming until they make it a law that no more bread price in the country of Nigeria. And as it works in Nigeria, we keep influencing other African countries as quick as possible. We influence them until their president will, will, will fix it, will make sure that they eradicate, they abolish that law of bread price. We, as it's happening in Uganda, we enter another African country. That is how we keep, we will keep screaming it until all of our women are free from these shackles of culture. From these shackles of culture. We all can bring the change as long as we have one voice. We can make a change. We can make a difference. Laws can be, can be amended. Cultures can be, you know, can be re re refined. We can remove and add. We are the ones who, who, if without us, there will be no culture. There will be no participant. There will be nobody to practice the culture, right? So if the culture is not benefiting us, we do away with it. We do everything possible to, to discard it. It won't be easy, but we have to fight. Freedom had never been easy right from the time of old. It has never been easy. For, for any nation to get, get its independence, it, it was never easy. So they kept fighting until they got their freedom. So we women, we, we will have to fight no matter how long it takes. We will fight until we get our freedom. Now, that is one part. That's one aspect. Men maltreating women and seeing them as property because they think they paid for, you know, for, for, for this woman. They think they purchased her already. They think they purchased her. Now, another danger of bride price is that parents are, are beginning to see not are beginning to see are all, they've already seen their male female children as investments excuse me so when a man when a man uh, um happens to you know give birth to uh, um uh, a female child he does not see any other value in that female child other than the fact that she is an investment other than the fact that he is going to have many, uh, um, she, he is going to have, um, uh, what's it called, in-laws or, or suitors who are going to come to, you know, buy her off. So he sees her as investment. He sees his daughter as investment. So if he gets like five girls, he's seen investments. So the girl is no longer seeing herself valuable as a human being. She's only seeing herself as, as a medium to bring wealth to her family. And that is why most girls will go to any length to, to use their body to make money for their parents. Because the father is already telling the girl that she is a money-making machine -o. Why? Because men will always come. Men will always come to love or like her. So if she can scam them, let her scam them. Bring the money. When the man comes, we will deal with him. 
We will deal with him. I don't know, my charger is not charging. Oh, one minute. Oh. I hope it's charging. So he is saying that don't worry, uh, uh, my girl. You know, when, just scam them, just bring the money. If he gives you money, collect. If he gives you this, collect. Why? Because you are the one who is supposed to be bringing money to us. You know, when the girl child is saying, Ah, daddy, we don't have money. We don't have money. We want to buy pad. We want to buy stuffs. We want to buy these. He is saying, you are a woman and men are out there. And you're saying you don't have money. You should go and get it. Men are there. When they tell you they like you, you get their money. Hello, Aisha. Happy New Year. Good to see you. Good to see you. So he tells you, bring the money. Bring them. Bring the money. So the girl thinks that. Oh, oh, I'm a money making machine. That means any guy that says hello, she quickly wants to put her hands inside his pocket to get money. So it's all about money, money, money. There was something a little, uh, um, uh, Queen Victoria posted, yes, uh, I think yesterday or so, or this morning, I can't remember, uh, about a story about a lady who traveled, who, who got to, to meet, uh, I don't know if it's a man of God or something, and the man gave her some money and all of, all of that. The man later invited her. She traveled all the way to go, you know. The man lied to her that he was opening a house or something, and she went there. Why? Because she was also expecting to get money, right? At the end of the day, she, she, said, to her, she said to herself, the man tried to make love to her. Oh, she agreed. Even at first, she didn't agree, but she felt, oh, because he had given me money before, before she, because he did something good for me, as a way of paying him back, let me give him sex. And after she did give him sex, my God began to come out of her private part, and the man disappeared. Because after she made, she made love with the man, the man had to wipe her private part with, a, with stuffs, or maybe a, a hanky or something, I don't know. But he said the man cleaned up her private part. Now, because she is being taught that she is a money-making machine, that she can always use what she have to get what she wants. That is how she got into that. Who knows if the man used her private part to do, to do some form of ritual. She went to get money, right? Yes. So imagine her value. Imagine the value that is... That is wrongly placed in her head. That she is a, a woman. Use what you, you know. I, I don't know how many of you have been hearing that word. Or you've heard that word before. Use what you have to get what you want. How many of you have heard that word before? Use what you have to get what you want. It means use your breast. Use your, use your vagina. Get what you want. Because that is what the man wants. And you want his money right. So use it and get what you want. What a shame. That is not our value. We are what more than all of those, all of those trash. So parents see their children as investment. The moment is a girl child, they don't think about any value. They don't see that girl as a, as a solution to the community. They don't see that girl as a solution to, to the, to the, to the uh, bad roads in that, uh, in that country. They don't see that girl as a solution to the educational system of that country. They don't see that girl as a solution to the technological world. They don't see that girl as a solution to the scientific world. They don't see her as a solution to the, to the bad air that we breathe in today. They don't see her as a solution to the bad, bad water that we drink. They don't see her as a, as a voice you know, to, to the voiceless, as a solution, as a solution provider. They don't see any other thing other than the fact that that girl will bring money to them when, they, when she becomes a, a, of, a, of age and in love begins to come. So they will look for a, a, a medium to scam men. Have you, have you heard of cultures where when a man comes, you know, when, you, when a man goes to a, 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 a family to seek for the lady's hand in marriage, he 
goes with a particular goods, a particular things, right? It goes with some stuffs and maybe two, three persons. Have you seen a, 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 a culture whereby when you, when that man brings that stuff, he, whether or not the parents of the girl agrees to that wedding or that marriage, that that guy is not supposed to go uh, go with that thing since the since they do not accept him he's not supposed to go with those things he brought <laughs> so if if for example he brought goose worth of 500,000 naira right half a million he is not supposed to go back with them even if the marriage is not holding why because that is the culture so when the when the father of these girls know that oh this is their culture they may they bring as many men as possible. So even if the girl does not like the man and she's not ready to marry the man, she said, "Come and see my father." Why? Because they already agreed between the family that as the man comes with those things, he's not going back. So they keep extorting as many men as possible, using the child to enrich themselves. Using the child to enrich themselves. The same thing, most most parents will tell the girls. That any man that will marry you will first of all renovate our house in the village. They will buy you a they will, or they'll buy a plot of land or they'll buy you a house. They'll buy you a car. So the girls use their their suitors to enrich their parents. To enrich their parents, so the the the, the suitor must build a house or renovate the house or buy a land or so, just so that the family can flourish, all in the name of. A girl child being an investment no other value no other value they don't place any other value in that the eyes of that girl and that that's part of the reason why even if this girl succeeds in marrying this man when she is in her home the parents will be calling her we need money send us this money send us this money as though there is a tree of money planted in the center of that of her of her, her husband's house. So she will begin to pester the husband that my in-law, oh no, that my parent need money and you must provide it. You must do anything you can to bring the money. So if the man does not have the money, he will go and do anything to bring the money. Why? Because the girl is the pressure from her in-laws. They are saying you have to bring money. Money, money, bring money. We need money. So the girl is your investment. And as long as that marriage uh, 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 exists or, you know, as long as that marriage is, is, is still together, they are still together, the, the in-laws will keep, will keep ex, ex, uh, um, extorting from their son-in-law. Why? Because they see that their daughter as investment. As investment. And before you know it, when the man is sick and tired of the pressure from his in-laws and his wife, he begins to, you know, beat her. He begins to turn her into a, a, a punching bag. Why? Because he's tired. Everything is about you and your family is money, money, money. Is money, money, money. What is this? The man is sick of the relationship. He is sick of the of the of the whole thing. Everything is about money. Your parents can never ever do anything good. They cannot tell us anything good. Every time we see their call, it's about money because they 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 planted money making machine in my house called a wife. Where does she produce the money? So these are the things women also pressure their husband. Before you know, the man begins to steal from the company he's working. Before you know, he jumps into arm robbery. He jumps into Yahoo Yahoo. He jumps just to maintain his name or keep up the pride of a good in-law. He has to do everything just to be manufacturing money for your, for your family. So girls and women are now seen as investments. And it's not instant investment is forever investment they will extort from every man as long as she she she's still alive she she uh, she's not married when she's married they keep extorting from the young man as well so why won't he 
You know, why wouldn't he treat her the way he wants when all he sees from her and her fa family, it's all a bad extortion. It's all a bad extortion. How wicked, how wicked humans have turned others to. We need to abolish bright price. It pays nothing. It, 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 is, it is crazy. The, the culture, it's crazy. It has just killed women. It has destroyed women. It has destroyed women. Now, one, another, uh, another danger of um, bride price, <laughs> Elizabeth is saying people don't understand how, t uh, uh, they don't understand how terrible this is. Uh, uh, let me read uh, the comment before this one. Say, our ladies don't, don't know, they don't know they are valuable. Their value is measured in the amount of bride price they can collect. Our ladies don't pray for purpose. They pray for rich husbands. And that, that can pay big money. Oh my God. And you know, in Nigeria, in Africa, not even Nigeria. In Africa now, it's a big competition. People try to compete whose wedding is the top notch. Whose wedding is the best. So how many, how many uh, um, super... Uh, superstars, uh, um, you know, attended your wedding. Did you do it in I uh, in, in in Ireland? Did you do it on top of the air? Did you do it on top of the sea? How how expensive is your wedding gown? How expensive is your in your bridal train? How expensive is the you know the wedding? So everything is not about the real wedding. You know, between you and you and the man, it's about who came for the wedding. So ladies are highly competing for the for the man who will marry them. So they tell you, oh, I don't want your type. You, you, you're not up to my standard. You're not up to my level. Why? Because they want to make a name. They want to build a name for themselves. They want a rich man. They don't care where the man got his money from as long as they can shine as long as uh, you know they can they can outdo their friends wedding they can do more than their friends did so they don't care if the man is a cultist they don't care guy bring the money how many celebrities do you see today that marry and their marriages last as long as possible everything is just about the outward appearance everything is just about the now instant gratification everything is about the glory of the now, the glory of the now, who, you know, what will people say? How will people, how will people see me? How will people view me? How will people, the respect that they will give to me and my family, the respect. Oh, this person married this, you know, you know, this, this girl married this person, this other person married. So the, 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 the competition is not about, does your purpose tally with mine? No. It's not about what can we, what can we do? How do we effect change in our community? How do we, you know, how are we really compatible? Do we think alike? Do we reason alike? Can we really, you know, uh, can we, can we really, can this marriage work? You know, do we, do, do we reason together? Does our purpose tally? Do we have an understanding of what we are about to do? Saying yes, I do. Does it mean anything to you? How do you see marriage? How do you see love? How do you see your spouse? How do you see women? What are the values you place in women? How do you see a home? What is it that your wife can do that will make you want to, you know, spank her? How, what, you know, sitting down to analyze, to count the cost, to understand who you are about to, you know, engage your life with it is not about any of such any of that what they are uh, 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 all about is about the now what will people say oh baby girl you bought your wedding ring from dubai your wedding ring cost 1.1 million dollars oh your wedding gown cost 1 billion dollars oh your this your buffet cost this so it's all about these free frivolities these frivolities that have no no measure, 
No measure of true happiness. No measure. All of this glamour. So that is just it. It is so, it's so it just, this is so, this is so, so true, Elizabeth. This is so true. We have gotten it all wrong. We've got the value of marriage and wedding has been long discarded. Long, you know, it's no, there's no longer, we don't place a, a reasonable values anymore. We place um, free vaulty things, all of those things we think they, they, those are the value of a marriage. So people will shower us with all the love. Oh, what a couple. Oh, what a wedding. Woo, wow. Did you attend that wedding? The food in that wedding is more than enough. Oh, the drinks. Oh, oh, the people. Ah, I danced. Oh, so it's, do you see the, 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 the takeaway gifts that I, we got from the wedding? It's equivalent to buying a phone. So the amount of the gifts that everybody went home with is equivalent to buying an expensive phone. So it's about the glory of the now, not about any other thing. Watch the wedding two weeks after, three weeks after, one month after, less than a year, less than six months. Everybody to your tent, O Israel. To your tent, O Israel. So parents need to stop seeing their children as a medium of investment, as a means of investment. It is wrong. It is wrong. I've heard where men say because of the Prize your parent levied on me. If they ever see you, if they ever see you again, not, know that I am not a man. Because the, 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 the parent of the girl almost, they almost took the breath of the man. They, they drained everything he had in his pocket. They drained him because of, him, of the fact that he found somebody he loved. And the family drained this young man that he almost he he almost sold his private phone just to pay dowry, just to pay bride price. And this man swear by the gods of his land and said to himself that you know this is what your parents did to me. This is what your in-laws did to me. This is what your kinsmen did to me. For this same reason. If they ever set their eyes on you again, if they ever see you again, know that I am not born of a woman. And that is the end. Have you heard, have you heard stories like that? Because parents want to, want to see their children as investments. What a word. And you think God is happy? This is... This is, this is unbelievable. I mean, such acts, we should arrest both the parent of the girl and the kinsmen and put them behind the, behind bars. They need to be arrested. They need to be sued to court. How can you, how can you put, how can you ask for something like that? So something of such nature, because your girl wants to, your child wants to get married. You then drain the young man. You then make him feel that he is, he is buying a human being. He is buying a material or a property. It is wrong. This attitude have driven most men crazy. And that is why most of them are also abusing our women because of the things that our our so-called um, um, kinsmen or parent did to them during the marriage ceremony or what or whatever. So it's wrong. It is so wrong. Uh, let me tell you a story. Now the church where I was attending, there was a guy. Who trained a, a girl? He, he, so he told me he met this girl when she was in first year in the university. And she was struggling to pay her fees. So being that he was a, um, a hardworking guy, he had to, uh, you know, 
relieve the parents of the burden of paying her uh, school fees, right? So he started paying her for this girl's school fees, paying for everything, you know, buying her materials, you know, until she graduated and did her youth service. And the guy said, oh, and before then, he told me that he liked the girl. That was why he, get, he got close to her. And as the relationship continued, he found, he found himself loving the girl the more. And he intended to marry the girl. Okay? So, while after school, you know, he allowed her to, you know, graduate, did her youth service. After everything, he wanted to marry those girls. He went to the parent to seek for her hand in marriage. Guess what? The, the, the list was in millions. Yes. The least they gave him to pay was a million. And as at this time, the guy, uh, I think the guy graduated two years after, after the, before the girl graduated. Now, he, was, he got a job, but the job was not such that, will, that can give you a, a, a such kind of money in less than one year, right? And he was, he, he was also paying bills, and he had younger ones to also take care of. So the, the bills... The list was exorbitant that he had to cry out. He had to cry out, you know. <laughs> he came to me. He was, he was so angry. He said, can you imagine? Did you see how people are wicked in this world? That this is all his, um, his, 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 uh, that he suffered all, all through how many years? You know, making sure that she doesn't lack anything. Making sure that he takes care of her. He saw her as somebody in need and helped her. Now, just so that he could respect um, the parents and respect God, he came to the family to seek for a hand in marriage. And at the end of the day, they want to make life miserable for him. Now, is this not the reason? This is a guy talking. He said, is this not the reason why men, you know, get really mad? And at the end of the day, they abuse the women. I was telling him, calm down, calm down. And it's okay, I understand, I understand. He said, no, this is too much. This is wickedness. This is this. You know, the guy was so angry. I was telling him, it's okay, I understand. Now, just calm down, just calm down. You know, it, he was just pissed off. He was just pissed off. So two people cannot be in love and go and seek the face of God, one, and then seek the face, uh, and seek the blessings of their parent without having to pay the whole wide world without going to go rob a bank to, to, to get married. This is crazy. The, the, the family of the girl doesn't even care if the man had to rob a bank to come and give them a, a, a car or buy a land for them or renovate their house or give them 50 live cows or give them a list of 3 million. So they don't care where the man gets the money from. As long as he brings the money, then our daughter is yours. The guy was so furious, and he and he said, "And I love her." Oh, he was so he was so. I, it touched my heart. I was like, "Oh, I'm sorry." He said, "And I loved her. I love her so much. Why are these people trying to frustrate my life?" I tried all I could to calm him down, and after some, and after he got calmed down. I told him that you know what you're going to do now take some of your friends take your 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 family members go to the father of the girl's house and deliberate on what you can give not what they want you to give that was the same thing we did you know, in our own wedding I told them those trashy people wrote in that I I I my <laughs> you know my husband is such a gentleman <laughs> He's ready to do, you know, just so that he can be, he can be with his wife, right? But I said, no. I told my husband, no. I know you can afford all of these things in the lease, but I will not make, I will not watch you do these things. These people are wicked. I will not watch you buy this trash and give these people. It's, it's uncalled for. I am not for sale. I am not for sale. My husband... My husband said, no, let's just do it. You know, he doesn't have problem. I said, no. I said, no. You know, when, when they called me, when they, when, they, when the kids men or whatever, they called, my, they called my phone. 
and they still want to speak to my other. I say, I want to speak with you people. I want to speak to you people. You don't have the right to decide on my head what or what not to give and what a, we will give you what we can give you, not what you want. To hell with those your list. I am not for sale. This is crazy. You know, if women don't speak out, they are causing problems for themselves. Because by the time the man pays up, up, up on all those trash, he starts seeing you as a property, woman. So speak up. Say no to those culture. Say no to those greedy old fools. Say no to those greedy men and women who are wearing those crazy dying goggles in their faces and they are putting all kinds of manner of things buy 50 50 live goats or 50 50 live cow you must produce a cash after all those trash the day you produce a cash of this amount you put all manner of trash very crazy people that i don't know where with the generation they came from and the funny thing is that this list continues from generation to generation it all keeps upgrading Year after year, they upgrade the, li the list. They increase it. They increase it. They increase it. <coughs> Excuse me. This place is very cold. It's winter. So they keep increasing the list. My sister wanted to get married and they told her, No, the list that your, your sister used is not the same. Now the list has changed. It has, it has upgraded. <laughs> I said, Me. If is I told my sister, go look into their eyes and tell them what you want to tell them. Tell them you will not do any of those trash. Listen, if you don't stand up, they will dupe you. They will scam you and your husband. They will scam you. They, the money is not coming to, to you and your husband's pocket. Though. The money is not coming to the bride's pocket. You know, the reason why I ask women to speak up is that the money is not coming to your pocket as a bride. You don't have a dime. You are just like a like you are like, you are just like a sheep or a goat tied tied in, 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 with a rope, or you are just like a dog tied uh, tied in chains. So you are just there. You have nothing to say. And if they collect all of those millions from your husband's pocket, it it not even one dime, not even one dollar will get to your own pocket. They don't send one dollar to your pocket and say, oh, the bride. Uh, because you are the one who uh, you know we were deliberating for, so take this uh, five hundred thousand, or take this two hundred thousand, or take this one million. You know your husband was able to pay this, so take this. They don't give you anything, no. They you don't see tr you don't see nothing. They are the one who pick all of this, and the problem is most of this we do not even know if you are existing right now as I speak. If you are existing, if you are dying, if you if you you and your family are sleeping under the bridge, they don't know. The moment they say, ah, there's an there's a suitor who wants to marry you, people you don't know from Adam, you don't even know they exist, they don't even know you exist, will just show up and bring all manner of release and start screaming, No, we are the guests of the whatever, we are the boys of whatever. You have to bring this to us, you have to give all of those trash. Where were you when we were suffering? Where were you when we were begging? We were hanging on the streets and begging for food to eat. I, when I, when, when, if you know, if you, if you heard my life story before, when I was talking about how that we were eating from from the from the dustbin, we were eating from the from from the pits, we were eating food that was thrown thrown uh, thrown to 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 the waste bin. We were begging as if we had nobody, right? We were begging as if. No, we didn't have any kinsmen. We didn't have no, a nobody. We were begging. But the moment we struggled through life and we came to become humans, we, we, not that we were not humans before, right? We came to become people that somebody could see and say, oh, I want to marry you. The moment there was a suitor, Never existing before, they just showed up like wind. They just gathered together and said, Bring this, bring that, bring this, bring that. All, all of a sudden, I just discovered I had kinsmen. All of a sudden, I just discovered I had I had uh, cousins, I had whatever. 
I have people. I don't know them from Adam, and they say they are the ones collecting stupid lists, and they are the ones who make the lists, and they are the ones who decide over the, a life that you don't even know if she was existing. Are you serious? What a wicked culture. Are you not the ones who are supposed to take care of the same family you want to collect bright price from my head? If you want to collect bright price from the girl, why didn't you take care of them? You, 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 you didn't take care of them. Now you just showed up like, like breeze, like, 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 like ghosts, like a spirit and start demanding for trash to collect from the in-law. If the man was the one who even took care of the family, you didn't even know otherwise. If she was the one that took care of the girl, you didn't even know. You just disappeared and appeared and came and said you must collect all 50, 50, 50 million. You are crazy. You are, you need to be jailed. We need to put you behind bars. You are a thief. Elizabeth is saying they will come and say it's their right. Stupid right. Which rights? Do I know you? Do you know me? Do you know me? You don't know me. I don't know you. You are a thief, man. And you see the very old people. They are old, but they are greed. They are greed for material things and, and money. Ah, yeah, yeah. It's worse than, the, it's worse than that of youths. It's worse than that of youths. We need to do away with those bright price. We need to abolish. We need to throw. It has to become history. So that our daughters will no longer be any invest she will not be investment in the hands of those wicked 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 old people i think our time is fast but god i i was able to list just three so maybe tomorrow we'll probably continue i have a few more to give so it's it's wickedness it is wickedness we need to keep speaking. We need to scream it. We need to scream it. This bright price have done us more bad. It, uh, uh, no, 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 no. It's, it's, it is not of good. Maybe the intention of it was for good before, but now it's not. It's not anything good. It has nothing. It has not. It has nothing good to do for us. I'm th you know, yesterday when I was talking, I was saying, okay, maybe the reason why, you know, uh, the African culture embraced bright prices are be because they wanted to put, they wanted to place value in the life of the female child. So you don't just, you don't just, you know, get the woman anytime you want, you know, and all that. They want to place a value on her life. But the problem is that it's no longer value. It's no longer value they want to place. It is extortion. Man has not, has, has gone beyond the value, you know, the value uh, part of it. They have gone into greed. It has become a greed that you have to almost sell your child because of money. So, this is wickedness and God is not happy for this, you know, this act of dehumanization. God is not happy. Heaven is saying no. And we are joining the host of heaven to say no to bright price. No to bright price. Let us scream it, woman. 2019, let us come out in mass in our writings, in our Facebook videos, in different platforms, Twitter, anywhere you want to spread it, spread the word. Keep speaking it. Let them do away with bright prize in African cultures. We don't want, we don't want bright prize. We don't want any more. I am so grateful for every one of you who have shared this video. And for all your comments, all your contributions, thank you so, so much. Oh, Elizabeth, Aina, you're so, you're just, you're just so wonderful. You're such 
You're such an encouragement. I love your spirit. I love the, the spirit of truth that is driving you and, you know, pushing you to speak out and be a voice, you know, to, uh, the, for the women and, you know, helping to bring change and eradicate all of those pain that we are facing. I, I remember the first time you came out to say, to talk about bright price. I, I somehow disagreed with you at first because I was thinking that the real bright price is just the little part of it, not the exorbitant list, which is actually right. But the problem is, it's no longer, in as much as it's, whether it's small or big, now I don't care because even if it's one dollar or it's one billion dollars now what it makes women to uh, what it makes men um in a way to see women is that they were able to purchase women they so they tag you with that price tag they think that that one dollar exchange was a price tag was a was a value you what so it was the amount of your exchange that was was amounted to that one dollar or one million dollars so whether it's one dollar or it's one million dollars we no longer care we don't want it now i explained yesterday i said if you want to marry you go seek first of all if you found a, a woman who who you want to truly marry and who suits your purpose and who you know your your heart is telling you uh, to and god is telling you to spend the rest of your heart your life with right what you need to do is seek god's blessings and then secondly go seek the father's blessings let it be a, a thing of going to seek their blessings not to collect least or to uh, to to start thinking of how to pay millions of dollars or millions of naira for what now if you want to do a get together i want to do a party or you want to celebrate and say oh my friends come and join me i found the, my lost reap i found a friend i found the love i found the partner of course you are free just like we celebrate the birth of jesus christ today okay so you can call your friends together you can call the both families together do a, a, a do what whatever you want if you want it more than family um, more than the family then do it with as many friends as possible go and tell it to the world shout it you've done your wedding you've done you've found a bride right so it doesn't have to be so it's now from your own um from your own decision to gather all your friends and spend as much money as you want to celebrate with your friends or to gather your friends and drink water if possible and thank god for founding your bride and, and and drink wine if you have if you have to if, to purchase one so please let no man put a burden on another just because they want to get married people are now thinking of how to go to steal because they want to get married people are looking for a way to go and uh, you know become beggars because they want to get married all of those things had to stop it has to stop and and we are the change makers that will you know bring this change to come to pass so thank you so much let's not stop sharing this video let's share let's share let's share let's share the video inbox it to your friends share on your timelines host it as a watch party and let truth be spoken and let our women and men be enlightened. I'm, I'm, if, 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 if men understand what I'm talking about, they will join in this, um, in this movement. They will join in the movement because most of the time they are the ones who pay this exorbitant amount to purchase a girl. You know, and some of them do not even have the money. So they need to join this movement and scream no to bright price so that they don't have to purchase anybody they don't have to purchase women and they don't have to go stealing just to get married all right so thank you so much everyone i sincerely appreciate your comments your shares you know everything i really appreciate i hope to come back tomorrow for us to continue the dangers 
of bright fries the dangers of bright fries oh my other i say i'm in the movement my love <laughs> thank you so much sweetheart yeah i love you you've always been my backbone and you've always been my strength you're always pushing me and telling me i can do it thank you so much for being uh my super fan and my super friend and my supporter <laughs> You're such a loving husband. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone. God bless you. I remain my humble self, T-O-P-S-Y, Topsy, Topsy Gift. So, and don't forget my book just before I forget. Every one of you have to buy my book. Let's keep spreading the word. As we do live videos, as we do live broadcasts, we also um, write books, write articles, uh, you know, share our um, share the knowledge, put it in every form of material that we have to put it in just so we can bring light to our world, so that truth can illuminate our world, you know, so that darkness will be taken away, ignorance will disappear, and people will live in freedom, and they will rejoice that God did not bring them to, you know, become slaves. Women will know that they were not created they were not brought to this world to become slaves to any man they were brought here to become heroes here heroines and you know makers and you know there's so much more you were made to be as a woman and not a slave not a schoolgirl not a housewife not as a, not a sexual satisfying mat machine or childbearing machine that if you don't bear a child in your husband's house, you feel that you have not achieved a thing, that you're not you're not woman enough. Gone are those days. Light has come. Knowledge is springing forward, and we need to embrace it with all that we have, just so that we can become a blessing to our generation. So look for this book. It's on Amazon. It's on Okada Books. You know, I am a woman. I am a human. I am a woman. I am a human. Get it? Give it to your teenage girls. Give it to your husbands. They need to read this book. I'm telling you, you know, as many people as possible, let them read, let them know so that they will understand who the woman truly is and how much she works and how that God has made her in his image and likeness to be a voice and to be a light to our generation. So don't stop spreading the word. Don't stop spreading the word, you know, and... We believe that someday all of this will become history. We will all live in peace and harmony. And people will no longer be afraid that, you know, they want to get married. You know, they will not be afraid. Women will no longer be thinking of their value. They will not be asking God, could it be that I don't have value? Could it be that the place of the woman is in the kitchen? Could it be that the place of the woman is this? You know, women will no longer be confused of who they truly are. Women will come to the understanding of their value and who they are that when they speak they speak they speak with uh, uh, with so much um you know passion with so much strength inside of them with so much confidence because they know who they are and they know what they want all right so thank you thank you thank you so much god bless you and i do hope to see you guys tomorrow as we continue this topic so have a blessed uh, evening from Ukraine and a happy new year to you all out there. So have fun and enjoy your new year. So bye bye. -bye.